the Leaders for Democracy Fellowship is really METI's flagship program in many ways. It brings together, as you have had the chance to, uh, to see for yourself this morning, some of the best and brightest uh, younger democracy and human rights activists from across the region. All of these fellows have their own uh, hard-won experience uh, tilling the soil for democracy in the region. Uh, they are committed, uh, they're experienced, uh, and they are ready to launch into the next phase of their careers. What we do together with Syracuse is bring them to the U.S. for an intensive four-month program, uh, at, which takes many of them away from their work and their families, and I'm grateful to them for making the choice to come. Uh, at Syracuse, they get uh, leadership training, they do a lot of networking, uh, theories of democracy and transition, uh, how to be more effective advocates for change, then they come to Washington and they have uh, internships where they work peer to peer with NGOs here in the city who are working on the same sets of issues that they're working on. That helps them build their network, build their sense of solidarity internationally as well as regionally. Now, this group of fellows, uh, as they head back to their home countries at the end of this week, will join a hundred other alumni of this program across the region. And this network of leaders for democracy, I believe, are the future leaders of the Middle East. Uh, and I think we've already seen the accomplishments of our alumni across the region running for and winning elected office, uh, leading uh, important political movements, and indeed some of our LDF uh, participants this year uh, are already veterans of the Tunisian Revolution. Uh, and of other key events uh, in the course of the Arab Spring. So we're really honored uh, that they have become part of our MEPI family, part of our LDF family, and that we've been able to build a partnership with them that will extend into the future as we, uh, as we work together across the Middle East. I also wanted to let you know that we've added a new dimension to the Leaders for Democracy Fellowship Program this year. After five years of tremendous success here in the U.S., we are adding uh, an Arabic language regionally based program, uh, which just started this week at the American University of Beirut. And I'm really, really excited that we'll be able to extend the benefits of this program to those who don't necessarily have the English language proficiency that this group does. Um, so this is just one example of the Leaders for Democracy program. Uh, of the work that MEPI does to support uh, and sustain agents of change across the region. The events of the Arab Spring show us so clearly that change comes from within, that it's driven by indigenous factors and indigenous activists who have the courage, the commitment, the skills to make change happen. Uh, and what MEPI is all about is partnering with those people on the ground and doing everything we can to support their work, to make them more effective, uh, and to build a lasting partnership between the United States and the peoples of the Middle East that will serve both our interests for years into the future. Um, I want to give a couple of our Leaders for Democracy a chance to share with you for a minute or two uh, their experiences in the program and, uh, and what their thoughts are about what's going on in the region. So first, let me introduce uh, Atham. Where's Atham? She's hiding <laughs> in the corner. Uh, from Bahrain, uh, she is the founder of Mumayaz, which is an NGO uh, focused on youth that encourages young people in Bahrain to be more active and engaged in their community. It's really teaching citizenship, teaching active citizenship. So, Atham. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, uh, I'm going to use my iPhone just to read from it, so I think so. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that sometimes feeling at home has little to do with your location, but it has a lot with the people that you come to know, and this is what happened in the program. I will talk about the icing of the cake, which is the people that I came to meet, the people I have lived with for three months. This unique people from, every, from different Arabic countries, where we came to learn, and not only to re rediscover the true sp Arab spirit, of what we believe in, but also to have unique and good friends. We have people from Palestine, from Egypt, from Tunisia, from Kuwait, from UAE, and of course Bahrain, and so many other countries. To have these meetings, 
what I call the post circus syndrome, is that we stay at the lobby or the hotel lobby. We stay until dawn talking about everything, you name it. We talked about politics, religion, culture, art, and of course, who's gonna do the dishes next week. <laughs> so this unique experience, not only that we came and made connections with the people within the university or even in Washington, D.C., but for me, it was the, 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 the as they say, the creme de la creme, or something like that, don't speak French, but <laughs> are the people, um, the people that we, we came to meet and the experiences that we have gained. We will go back home, not only finding unique friends, but we'll have these projects that will come and will be happening in every country that will be related to them. So it is very important for me that when I go back home and I hopefully, the leaders of democracy, I will see some projects, I will say, I knew that person who brought change to their own country in different areas, legal side, youth, youth and, and human rights. So thank you very much, not only for this unique program that we came to learn a lot from academically and also in terms of the, our internships here, but also for gaining great unique friends that I'm sure that with our own network, hopefully we're gonna do or have a better future, and, uh, better future and better, uh, better tomorrow in our areas. So thank you very much for this unique opportunity. Uh, and now I want to introduce a, a Palestinian LDF, Muhammad Abu Raya. Yeah. Yeah. There, there you are, okay, yeah. from Gaza. And uh, Muhammad has a career in NGO management uh, in a tough environment, um, but doing important work to serve the people of Gaza. Uh, my English is not uh, that good uh, as Ahlam, so <laughs> I'm going to use the paper. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, I have to say that uh, I'm very honored to be uh, with these people. Every one of, uh, of these guys learned me something and added something different and special for my personality. I think I will take it with me wherever I go. Um, from the beginning of the program, I felt how valuable uh, this program will be and this experience um, will be something different and it could be a turning point in uh, my life. Um, at the beginning of the academic part of this program, you know, um, honestly, and I have to confess that I, I wasn't, you know, expecting to know something different or something new and in, 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 innovative <laughs> about it the concept of de democracy. But, sorry, uh, Professor hey. Jean-Marie, uh, <laughs> sorry, he told, us, he told us, no, but always can. <laughs> I, I have to say, but, after, you know, a lot of lectures and professors and different views of democracy and politics and a lot of things, I have to say that I started to think about the things on, you know, from more than one way. I used to think about the, the, the democracy from one way, from uh, the Palestinian perspective, <laughs> which is, I think, closed according to the siege, as you know. I don't think that uh, we can agree, uh, my, me and my colleagues, on one definition of democracy, even now, or we cannot agree on, on a specific uh, issue, because every one of us came from a different uh, place in the Arab world, uh, understanding his people uh, and the characteristics and the special features of the country, of his country. But I think that, uh, or I'm pretty sure that we can argue and we can discuss everything right now. This is very good. Um, being in Washington, it's a very great thing, you know. From the um, first day, we couldn't stay at the, at the home. We started discovering uh, the city by using the metro for the first time. <laughs> yeah, it is good. <laughs> yeah. We started discovering everything around us. And I wasn't uh, very enthusiastic about the internship thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so, really, I wasn't enthusiastic about the internship. But after evolving and being part of the organization, it's, it was a great organization, AFT, American Federation of Teachers, and seeing how they are dealing with 
um, every single detail and how they are taking care of everything and how the systematic way of the work, I was very impressed. And I think I, I will not forget about that. I will take a lot of things from them uh, with me to Gaza. Hopefully I will be successful to take this because the mentality in Gaza is totally different from, from here. But I will, some adaptations and accommodations, <laughs> that will be good. Um, I, will, I, I don't want to forget about the events and the activities that we participated uh, or we could participate in here because the schedule was really tight. Every time we met um, someone and most of the people here from the first class in decision making. So, <laughs> but uh, the, the, the very interesting thing, we, all of them were humbled, really. And uh, this is very you know, strange on our culture because <laughs> when, when you are in the office or when you are an important person, you can just uh, <laughs> take advantage of that. Um, I don't uh, want to say, you know, to take, take a lot of time. But uh, on behalf of myself and uh, of my colleagues and of my people, because I'm sure that every one of us will take a lot of things from here with him to uh, back to home. And I hope that we will be the seeds of the change and the seeds of the development in the future. Thank you. I, I want to uh, make sure that uh, with the remainder of our time together, you have an opportunity to talk directly with our fellows. We have fellows here from across the region, Morocco all the way through the Gulf, including a lot of places that are in the headlines. And that means that a lot of our fellows have spent the last four months anxiously trying to call family at home, uh, wondering uh, whether they'll be able to go back home uh, and what they might face when they get there. And uh, the struggles that these individuals are, are going back to engage in, uh, the outcome of these struggles for peaceful democratic change in the region uh, will have tremendous impact on America, on our engagement in the region, and on, on, our, on our national interests. That's why it's so important to us that we have this opportunity to build a relationship with them. Uh, because we know that this relationship will serve us well into the future. So, again, thank you all for coming. I hope you'll have an opportunity to engage one-on-one -on -one with the fellows in the remainder of our time. Thanks. Thank you.